Just tell me I'm the one. Come on, you don't... You don't have to tell your mother or the whole world. Just... Just tell me. I stayed up all night questioning my faith in faith. Faith that all the withholding would stop. Faith that he'd say, I love you. There are thousands, maybe tens of thousands of women like this in the city. We all know them, and we all agree they're great. And they're alone. Carrie Bradshaw. I am so excited. Oh. Sit down. I'm a huge fan of your work. Good taste and beautiful. Could it get worse? Oh. I never knew you were interested in writing children's books. Well, uh, it's a children's book for adults. I love it. I thought you might. <laughs> this could be great. She was smart, beautiful, and she got me. So what's the big deal? It's just a fling. It's not like we're throwing out our schedules or anything. Oh, sweetie, I gotta go. Yeah? I'm late for a meeting with my editor. Oh. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi. Thanks for meeting me. Oh, thanks for inviting me. Wow, you changed your hair. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> Listen, at the risk of sounding like a groupie, are you seeing anyone? How sweet. Let me show you how it's really done. No one special. Something's got a hold on me. Wow. Oh, don't tell me you're surprised by this. Well, I can't just ignore it, can I? Yeah. No. What's yes. the big deal? In 50 years, men are going to be obsolete anyway. I mean, already you can't talk to them. You don't need them to have kids with you. You don't even need them to have sex with anymore, as I've just very pleasantly discovered. Was Miranda right? I needed some answers. You know, I'm beginning to think the only place where one can still find love and romance in New York is the gay community. It's straight love that's become closeted. Meanwhile, across town, Miranda had given this topic some thought. As the only single lawyer working at her law firm, Miranda had agreed to be fixed up on a blind date. Miranda? This is Sid. Sid? Miranda. Look at you two. It's like a perfect match. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to uh, excuse myself. Me too. You too. <laughs> Miranda and Sid's last inning double play got the attention of everyone even the firm's senior partner. That was quite a play, ladies. <laughs> Listen, uh, my wife and I are having a little dinner party on the 12th. Uh, just some couples, nothing fancy. We'd love it if you both could make it. We'd love to. You seem so relieved to have finally figured me out. After Miranda left, I had a thought. Maybe it's about fear. Fear of the unknown. When life gets this confusing, sometimes there's only one thing to do. Attend a fabulous party. Hi! Isn't this fun? It's like hell with cover charge. I needed to escape. The party had turned into a preview. A preview of a life I didn't know if I was ready for. Excuse me. And then... Yes. Do you have a tampon? Oh, sure. Of course. My desire overcame my fear. Thanks a lot. Have you ever been with a man, you know, and he's like, he's doing everything and, and it feels good, but somehow you, you just can't manage to, um... Come? Yeah. I mean, I'm scared. What am I gonna do? Well, you know... No, no, no. Just make sure that the other woman isn't a friend. Use somebody random, you know, somebody you meet in a bar or something. That's romantic. No. I think that I'd feel safer with a friend, with, with someone I could trust. Like Carrie. Oh, gee, I'm flattered. But, um, I'd go with someone who has a little more experience, like Sam. Well, thanks, but there is something sexy about a first-timer like Charlotte. Really? Mm-hmm. Listen, have a good time and promise to tell me everything. Well, once you're lucky. Bye. All right, bye. <laughs> then Charlotte did the unthinkable.
A couple of blocks and way too much money later, I realized I had just entered an interesting chapter in my life. We're all basically the same, but somehow we wound up on different sides. Later that week, I realized I was happily dating another woman like it was the most natural thing in the world.